So I'm not going to pretend as if Matt Gates is the first Republican politician or media figure in general to say what he's going to say, what we're going to hear him say now. But still, it's getting to the point where I don't know how they live with themselves because they're basically just endangering the lives of their own base. And you'd think that they would want their base around to continue voting for them. But nonetheless, let's listen to what he has to say. And then, of course, I think it's going to be pretty apparent why it's stupid. But if not, I'll break it down for you when we come back. Well, still the best vaccine we've found is Mother Nature's vaccine. It's contracting the virus. That is what has provided the greatest protection, the most durable protection over the longest period of time. Okay, what do you have to do though in order to acquire said natural immunity, Matt Gates? Explain to us, what do you have to do? You have to risk your own health and get COVID-19. Does that sound good? I mean, you can risk long-term health issues, possibly death, or you can just get the fucking vaccine and you're going to feel a little bit achy, a little bit uh, chilled for a day or two. And then you have immunity. It's just, it's weird. And what they're saying is incorrect. Uh, it's natural immunity paired with vaccine immunity. That is the strongest in terms of response. I believe this is what uh, a meta analysis released by the CDC in early November concluded. So the data has been out there for a while, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. The conclusion has consistently been from public health experts that getting vaccinated is important, regardless if you already have natural immunity, get vaccinated. But instead, you have people who are truly moronic, like Dennis Prager, who uh, they're going out of their way to contract COVID-19, like Dennis Prager admitted on camera that he someone who is probably at risk but wealthy, so he has access to good therapeutics. He went out of his way to contract COVID-19. He'd get close to people. He'd hug them because he wanted it because that's how badly he wanted natural immunity. But that's such a stupid thing to do because you can get immunity without risking your life. It's just, I don't know what to say. It's a level of stupidity that is almost unbelievable, yet at the same time, contradictory, totally believable for the modern GOP. Now, I mean, Matt Gates, even though he said that, he's not an anti-vaxxer per se, and given what he's going to say in this article, as stupid as it is, I have to argue that he is probably more reasonable than most conservatives on this issue. So Newsweek's Cami Pedroja explains, the representative from Florida said during a tete-a-tete -tete with Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene on Thursday's episode of his new podcast, Firebrand with Matt Gates, so that sounds lovely, that he is not a person who criticizes those who choose to take the vaccine. Very, very reasonable. Wow. You know, there are people like my own parents who continued who, for them, they're a little older. They've got other complicated medical conditions, and it was the smart decision for them and for people in that circumstance where it makes sense. I hope that they avail themselves to the best that modern technology has to offer. Gates volunteered his parents' positive vaccination status after angrily refusing to disclose his own vaccination status just last month. Reportedly, when a CNN reporter asked him to comment whether or not he had been given his jabs, Gates cut the reporter off, saying, that's very nosy of you, then adding, I think we should be talking more about freeing Britney. Okay. <laughs> free britney then i mean that was last month to be fair but i mean nobody disagrees with that what a weird deflection tactic pivot to this thing that basically nobody disagrees with yes we should we should free britney i'm glad that she's free awesome now disclose your status but he won't now just saying that maybe some people should get vaccinated believe it or not is more reasonable than uh a lot of folks in the GOP because they'll just say, don't get vaccinated because it's poison. It'll give you 5G. So at least he's not playing into that conspiratorial mindset here that much. But let's let's be very clear. He's anti-vax and what he promotes discourages vaccination, which is a detriment to the health of the GOP base and also his constituents. Now ask yourself this question. Why do people like Matt Gates, Tucker Carlson, Dave Rubin, why do they get so offended when you ask them whether or not they're vaccinated? Why do they refuse to disclose their vaccination status? It's almost like they have something to hide, right? It's because they're probably vaccinated. Now, if it is the case that they admit that they're vaccinated after for months, espousing anti-vax rhetoric, discouraging vaccinations, that even the GOP's brain-dead brain base might think, wait a second, 
that's a little bit suspicious. Why would he tell me not to take the vaccine, but then he got the vaccine himself? Something's up here. Maybe I should do a little bit more research into this. Maybe I was led astray. And again, I mean, not all GOP voters will come to that conclusion because most of them just gobble up whatever bullshit is sold to them by the Republican Party. But still, I mean, they look like frauds. I mean, I don't find it offensive. Ask me what my vaccination status is. I'm double vaxxed up, got my booster. Yeah, I can share that because I'm not lying to my audience. My audience knows where I stand. They know that I am vaccinated and I want them to get vaccinated because I want them to protect themselves. But people like uh, Matt Gates, he'll talk the talk, but in actuality, he's not walking the walk. We know he's vaccinated. We know that he jumped that fucking line as soon as he was eligible. In fact, he's a member of Congress. So I'm pretty sure that members of Congress got the vaccine before uh, anyone else. So um, you know that he's vaccinated. Uh, but still, it, it, what they're doing is so shockingly stupid because at this point, they know, they've seen the statistics. The most vaccine-hesitant portion of the population in the U.S. is conservatives. So you're endangering your own fucking base and they just, they don't care. I mean, they shouldn't just care because it's endangering their base, but they should just care because... Lives are saved by the vaccine. Hundreds of thousands of lives in 2021 alone were saved because we have these vaccines. So it shouldn't just be, oh, well, I should want to protect people who I align with ideologically. It should just be, I want to protect people and save lives because I'm a good person. Because saving lives is objectively good, regardless if that person is a Republican or a Democrat. Saving lives, good. Taking lives, bad. Unnecessary deaths, bad. But we're dealing with a Republican Party that is so extreme that they're cutting off their own noses despite their faces. And it's fucking stupid. He's endangering his own base. And if you're a GOP voter and you take these people seriously, you are doing it to your own detriment. Get the fucking vaccine because all the people or most of the people I guarantee who are telling you not to take it have gotten the vaccine themselves. That should tell you something. It says they're frauds and they're just virtue signaling and they don't actually believe a single fucking word that they're saying. Stop taking these goddamn people seriously for fuck's sake. When you're acting like a...